Welcome back to Afternoon Express and it's a good time to join us because we're just about to get started with something so delicious in the kitchen courtesy of Janine, a fantastic winner and of course we've got the lovely Sue as well in the kitchen. How are you ladies? I'm good. So, great. so you entered our competition, yes. you submitted a recipe yes. and it was a haddock enchilada yes. and you're going to make it for us today. Yes ma'am. Is it delicious? Is it a firm fa family well, favourite? we enjoy fish so... Okay. Yeah. But you live in Cape Town. I do. Well, it's a crime to not have fish almost every day if you live in Cape Town. I mean, music, so it's close to... Yeah, wow. exactly. Yeah. You can go surfing and fishing in one day. Okay, how do we get started with that whole well, enchilada? Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to start on, on the sauce. Yeah. Um, would you like to add some you milk can, in there? You can put me to work. That's yeah. great. Sous, sous chef I, I, in the I kitchen think today. she's a little bit better in the kitchen than I am. <laughs> oh, but there she's burning the milk <laughs> Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. She's throwing me under the bus. Yeah. Don't cry yeah. about spilled milk. <laughs> <laughs> so the milk's going to heat up a bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the corn flour with some milk. Because okay. it's actually quicker and it's not that lumpy. And then what does that create? It creates a sauce. Oh, and lovely. the corn flour basically thickens the milk. Is that that white sauce that yes. you sometimes see in a lasagna? That is so difficult to make. No, it's not. Well, depending on your skill level, I suppose it can be. Do you ever do yours with flour, Janine? Or, no. or is this oh, yours? No, I always use corn okay. flour because it's quicker, thickens quicker. Perfect. So, corn flour comes That's from a corn good. and flour is from wheat. Oh, is that the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> you are so funny. So once a, a starch-based thickness, it's, yeah. it's mazina. Okay. So if, if any, because I remember when I was younger and I was a little confused, they'd be like, have you got mazina or have you got corn yeah. flour? It's actually the same thing. Okay, amazing. So this is actually, um, we well, thicken sweet things with this, you thicken savoury with it, amazing. whereas the flour is just such a long way to cook out. So I mazina, know, corn flour, same thing. I've white sauce before and I just, it's a lot of stirring to get the lumps out, but you seem to have really got things under control. Yeah, because so, basically what you do is that you, you mix the paste, yeah. and then you add it to, add the, it to your, to your heated milk. Okay, lovely. And then it starts thickening up. Amazing. Next step. And we need to add some mustard to that to give some flavour. Lovely. And I'm going to keep on doing this, You're right? This is what we're going to do to keep it Go on for out it. Of it. We've only got a couple of minutes, and, and that's what I really love about a meal yeah. like this, how? is convenience. Janine, once this is going, how do we start on our, our no, main filling bit? Now, basically, some green pepper. Yeah. Some onions. So it's Delicious. quite nice and easy because this is literally just a two pot, two yeah. kind of pot meal. Yeah. You basically heat that up, add some garlic. You can we throw love the whole thing in yes. there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, you've seen on the show, Clem and I literally load every dish with garlic. But it means you'll never get sick. I say that, but I'm permanently sick. And then we basically <laughs> add some chili because you yes. can't have Mexican without no, chili. Of course. Jean, I, I really love that Sea Harvest product. So easy to use, packaged conveniently, and yeah. um, also sustainable fishing. I'm really all about the sustainability. So Absolutely. I'm really, really glad that you've chosen the Haddock product today because it does just work so, so well. And as we, we eat lots of fish and it's just easy and you don't want to have the same boring things all the time and that's why yeah. I came up with the enchilada. Okay. And, and then the Haddock is amazing because it's a smoky fish, hey? So it definitely yes. gives you, it contributes to that Mexican flavour. Yes. It, uh, so it do does contribute to the Mexican flavour, and um, but the chilies and the garlic is obviously amazing. Okay, chili in. Chili in. What next? What next? And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, going to flake the haddock. Yeah. So How do we you can flake the haddock? Do you want me to help you with anything? No, it's great. Okay, great. Good. Basically Today's use, a busy day for me in the kitchen. You use a fork, okay. and you basically just flake it like that. The skin stays behind. Yeah. And, and this is already cooked, correct? This has been steamed, okay, it's been yes. Steamed. It's been Perfect. steamed. Oh, there you go. Okay, then do we just add it to the base we of, just add it to the, of our enchilada? We're actually adding it. Oh, to that. Are we going in there? We are. Yes, yes. yes. go, go for it. it. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I'm still and seeing how we're building stir. the enchilada. Okay. And then what happens? And then we basically just need to let it simmer a bit, and then we're going to put the fish. Yeah. into the wrap. Okay. And then we pour some sauce on it. We need to add some cheese sauce, some cheese to that. Okay, perfect. Amazing. So let's get to build, let's build the wrap in the final step. I just want to see how to do it. Okay. <laughs> you, still, you see, a white sauce stirring. is not easy. <laughs> but you know what? Look, look how lumpy that actually is. So once that thickens, exactly. we know that that's going to make a nice smooth sauce, which is great. Lovely. 
So there we're filling our enchilada already with a tasty fish. This is going to be a fantastic dinner. And remember, if you want all of the details for this amazing recipe, all you need to do is SMS the keyword fish to 33650. And they will send you the shopping list and, of course, the recipe for this fantastic invention by our lovely winner today. OK, so throw in the cheese. And then, because of the magic of TV, da -da -da -da, we've already got a finished version over here that looks so yummy and a little bit of guac. You know who's a big fan of Mexican food? Bon Bizzle. Yes, Bon Bizzle. Bon <laughs> wow. I know that. Pick you know what the thing is for something like this? Bonnie go. and I are literally just going to cut it in I'm half. Cut it in half and have, and have one feast. each. Absolutely. We're totally doing this. Thank you so much. I also haven't tasted her recipe <laughs> yet. I think you need my expert, my expert judging Absolutely. opinion on that. Thank Julie, you. Julie, you've tasted this recipe plenty of times, so you don't have to taste it today. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Fine. Thank you so much for coming to prepare it's it for a us. Yeah. So lovely having you here. Thank you so much lovely for joining us in the kitchen ladies. again. Always a pleasure having you here. And of course, thank you for joining us at home. We're going to be back tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow's quite an exciting we'll show, back. actually. Yes, it's going to be incredible. <laughs> and it's Friday. Are you still at no. peace? <laughs> I am so zen. I'm totally going to take on meditation. It's actually the way of the future. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. We'll be back again tomorrow. Until then, namaste. Happy eating. Happy enchiladas.